Hi, I'm Victoria Hanscom, editor of Security Journal Americas, a sister publication of International Security Journal. Welcome to this ISJ Leaders in Security video. Today, I'm here with Gary Harmer, Commercial Director of Hikvision UK and Ireland. So, Gary, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, so before we get into our questions, um, we're going to be looking at large scale AI and how that transforms perimeter security. Of course, perimeter security is the first line of defense. However, traditional systems often struggle with false alarms and missed detections, especially in complex environments. Um, however, large scale AI is redefining how we can protect critical assets and spaces. Um, so in this video, we're going to be uncovering how advanced AI improves target recognition and event analysis, delivering smarter, more reliable security performance. Uh, so let's discover how large-scale AI is transforming perimeter security for a smarter and safer world. So Gary, it'd be great if you can tell me why do traditional perimeter systems often struggle with false alarms and misdetections? Of course. So traditional perimeter detection systems mainly operate outdoors and because they're outdoors we're introducing numerous variables that can trigger false alarms. So these would include wind, rain, snow, uh, small animals, uh, trees moving in the wind, etc. Um, and they can all activate motion sensors effectively. So therefore you're getting uh, a lot of nuisance alarms that aren't true. Uh, so we call them false alarms or mm. false positives. So systems then developed somewhat um, from motion sensing and we introduced basic rules-based video content analysis, analytics. Um, but we still struggled to cope with the challenges of the changing environment, um, such as low light and the weather conditions, um, and also the change in the object size as well as an object became closer to the camera or moved across the field of view. So despite the advent of um, basic AI and basic machine learning uh, approaches, false alarms have remained a challenge for the security industry and that has led to the next mm. technology development. So how does large-scale AI improve target recognition and event analysis in complex perimeter scenarios? So the large-scale AI models are trained on vast, massive data sets. Mm. So we're able to distinguish between a real event and a non-event, if that makes sense. Um, because of the training that's gone into the system, we're able to filter out non-events. Um, and that drastically reduces the amount of false alarms that we get and the number of repeat alarms. Because in the older technology, if something was causing an alarm, it would cause the alarm and trigger the alarm continuously. So there's a massive reduction in false alarms and an even larger reduction in the repeat alarms because you can train the algorithm to know that that's another of the same event. Mm -hmm. And what this does is it frees up the operator's time to, to be focusing on real events rather than false alarms. So it makes the operation faster, more responsive. If an operator is continuously being fed false alarms, then they lose interest in what they're being asked mm -hmm. to review, if that makes sense. So when they do receive an alarm, it's far more likely to be a real alarm, and then you've got their attention. So Hikvision claims up to a 90% reduction in false alarms. Um, what technological advances make that possible? So we've actually set up a test environment which is how we're able to make that claim. Uh, the test environment is in a real world car park in our European HQ just outside of Amsterdam and we recorded traditional AI cameras against the large model AI cameras and looked for the incidence of false alarm versus true alarm. Um, the difference is that the large AI model is trained on a much wider data set where we're able to understand complex scenarios, whereas the traditional AI camera has a very limited data set that it can work on and is less able to cope 
with the changes in environmental conditions, you know, sh shadows caused by the sun, etc., uh, and the, the previous things that I've mentioned in terms of the environmental challenges. So it's the large data set that gives us the ability to reduce the false alarm rate. So in what ways are industries like critical infrastructure or campuses benefiting from these AI-driven perimeter solutions? So the advancement in large-scale AI uh, and sensing technologies have led to a new generation of intelligent perimeter detection systems. So by combining these various technologies, such as video analytics, uh, thermal detection, radar, and now even fiber optics, um, we can integrate these different disciplines into one hugely intelligent new system. So powered by large-scale AI, the intelligent system now offers real-time um, detection, the ability to adapt to different change in scenarios, um, to deliver a high level of accuracy with um, a massive reduction in false alarms. And if you put that all together, it makes that solution a very good fit for critical infrastructure sites, industrial sites, logistics hubs, campuses, um, and anywhere where there's like a remote or a complex environment to deal with. So let me explain in a bit more detail about some of the items that I've just mentioned. First of all, an AI camera does the heavy lifting, it does the processing and can filter out a lot of the false alarms. And if you then use that in conjunction with some of the other technologies, say for example thermal, thermal is able to give you a detection in a far more challenging condition. So it will work in fog, for example, whereas a traditional optical camera would struggle in fog, obviously. And thermal will also give you a much longer detection range, so you can get very early warning of an event. I mentioned radar, so what we can now do is to use radar technology to sense when there's movement and we can feed coordinates to a pan tilt and zoom camera so that we can home in on where the event is. And similarly, we're now using fiber optics on perimeter detection. So we're now able to sense vibration um, on a fiber optic cable to a degree of about five meter accuracy on a long perimeter line. And therefore you can trigger a zone, uh, trigger that alarm and then feed the information on where in the perimeter that activity is happening so that you can then deploy resources, be that a pan and tilt or um, a manned operation, for example. So those technologies coming together will give you a much higher level of accuracy and a much lower force alarm rate. Amazing. Thank you so much, Gary. It's been great to speak with you today. Thank you.